Hi, I'm Gene Black, and today I'm going to give you a demonstration on hand carving a stamp. Okay, the first thing we need to do is talk about our tools. One of my favorite tools is a Speedball Leno Cutter. If you read my blog, you have seen the display of this. This is a small groove. I also have a large groove cutter. And another tool that's very handy is a simple X-Acto knife. For carving, my preference is the Master Carve block. This one I have drawn a leaf on. And I prefer to use a Sharpie marker to draw on the Master Carve block. Or you can draw with a pencil if you draw lightly because the pencil will break the surface a little bit and cause it to shed on you. So, this is a rubber eraser that I'm going to carve today. And we're going to hope that it carves well. It's a cheap rubber eraser that I got at the local store. One thing you want to do is first of all, I'm going to cut away this part because that's just excess space that I don't need. But don't throw this little bit away. It will make a great small stamp. So the first thing we want to do is carve away some of the large outline. What I'm going to leave is the black area. I'm going to carve away the white. It's really hard to remember which parts you're carving away. I have so many times carved away the white and left, carved away the black and left the white, which would leave me make a hard stamp with just a line drawing that's white. But I want the line drawing to be all that stamps when I stamp this. So just dig in. It's good to start at an edge kind of away from everything and just carve around. Ooh, I got into my black there. So be careful. Sorry, I'm sure my hand's getting in the way of the camera. Now, when you've got that much and you just want to get rid of that, just turn it around and pop that off. Again, I'm going to go in here. Notice I'm leaving that white edge. I'll do that with the smaller cutter when I get to that point. Right now, I'm just getting rid of some of the excess outline. One thing you can do, I don't know if you can see that or not, you can leave a little rough edge to give some shadowing or texture around your stamp. For this particular stamp, I don't want that. So I'm going to try to not do that. And if you do, you can always go back and cut it off later. You cannot add it back later. Now I've done this a few times, so I'm a little more practiced than you may be your first time. You won't want to get that close on your first cuts. But be brave, have fun, and don't worry about ruining this stamp. It has another side that you could do the same thing on. Or you could carve a different stamp on the other side. So I haven't carved away this corner yet. And actually I'll probably just chop off that whole piece there unless I want to use this the other side for something different, then I want to leave the corner because I might need it on that. Okay. It gets difficult to see what you're doing here and sometimes I have to really get my face down in it. Now, I'm gonna take my small cutter for this inside part because there's much less to work with. And what I do when I get to the end is just lift up. That piece will come right out. Again, I carved away a small bit of my black there, so I'll have to improvise on the other side and leave it a little wider. Sometimes you just have to dig those pieces out with your hands. I'm just gonna go right on around this edge here, up to the tip, and pull it out. Then I'm gonna stay outside because I messed up on that.
and you don't have to do these exact you'll check later to see if you've made mistakes by stamping the stamp over to my side I don't know if you've seen it yet or not there is a stamp pad you can use any kind of stamp pad to check this with and just some white paper okay because it'll help you to see sometimes working against this white or any color for that matter since it's all the same color throughout you can't tell what you've carved and what you haven't so I'm going to take my stamp pad and my paper I'm trying to stay out of the light of the camera and just press my stamp pad a few times to the stamp pad and then stamp it out and I see a little a few little rough edges here and here on the tip so what that tells me is I can look at this have something under there my scraps take this and go okay there's a rough corner there let's just slice that away and that's a little rough right there but I'm gonna leave it I think I like that this on the tip though I don't like so I'm just gonna cut away that whole tip and we'll try the stamp again and see if I like it better it's looking better what I see are these fine lines that are making these lines so what I'm going to do is carve those away stamp it again and most of those lines are gone and I'm happy with that so I'm going to leave that stamp one other thing I want to show you let me just move the paper out of the way this little flower I tried to do a transfer and I really messed it up pretty badly however I can still use this the center is a circle now I wanted to show you how to carve curves and circles so what I'm going to do is dig in and slowly rotate the block to get out the circle out of the center. Now I will be definitely improvising on this to make it come out reasonably to what I want. Again to take out the leaf part or the petal part rather of the flower just going to twist back and forth. I'm not going to carve this whole thing but I will stamp it just so you can see actually if I stamp it it's going to mess up my design and I won't be able to see where it is anymore but that's how you carve a curve actually on this I'm just going to carve a nice circle by going around and I'm going to leave the inside of the circle and I'll stamp it for you so you can see and that actually makes just a little wheel I'll stamp it to the block to the ink pad and then stamp it to the paper and that's how you carve a circle I suggest that you play with your tools and your uh, blocks and just try carving some things remember when you've carved one side you still have the other side you can carve if you mess up this side carve this side and don't think that anything is lost I have some little tiny strips that don't look like much of anything that are left but I can go in and do some random designs here stamp this and make little tracks so you know if I were actually really making something with this I'd have spent more time on it but I just wanted to show you quickly even little pieces are good for stamps thank you